All right, guys, this is lock number two from the erroneous designs box. The key is the same for as it was for the other lock, he says. Uh, but what I've noticed is you got to jiggle it a little. It does work. Come on. There we go. So it does work. It's a valid lock. It just gets a little hung up. Weird looking key. Maybe this time we're going to find out what those cuts on the bottom are for. Um, I'm going to try. I've noticed he's drilled the top of this out. So getting a top of the keyway in there is a little difficult. So I'm just going to shove him. Come on, tighten. It's the same as quick set, right? I'm just going to shove him all the way in. Just like that. Ugly, I know, I know. Um, let's take this, put a mark on here. How do these dry out with a cap on them? That's what I want to know. All right, I am going to try. Let's try a thick. It is, after all, just a quick set. I'm going to try a thick medium hook from the Praxis kit, 23,000. It's gummed up back there for sure. All right, let's try the 15,000, same medium hook. Okay, that was four. That was one. I don't have a false hat. Oh, tension wrench, Bill. I'm holding it with my pick, and I'm shoving him all the way back in there. There we go. Okay, man, that was too easy. All right, let's go ahead and just gut it while we're here. Zoom out. If these had not come directly from erroneous designs, I'd say whoever had them before me modded them in some way, but uh, these came directly from him. Okay, we need a giant Phillips. That's about as giant as I have on the bench. Luckily, it's not tight. Okay, we just set all that junk off to the side. Uh, we do have a key, but I'm going to try to keep it unlocked, just in case that key doesn't work this last time. Move that out of here. Yeah. These are from Stephen Zealous. Okay. I believe I can just take one of these and push that right out of there. Just like that. Okay, medium follower. Slide that dude out. Okay, there's one extra pin in there that I was not expecting to see. I don't see anything weird, no threads or anything that I can determine. We got a weird groove right there. I'm gonna put my finger on this and turn it over. And there's one cut groove right there, lined up kind of with pin three. Kind of. Let's dump these out and see what we got. Okay, standard. Doesn't want to come out. A T-pin. T-pin. A T-pin. Number five is a piece of, I don't know what that is, a piece of pencil lead. And number six is a T-pin. Nothing weird on the core. 
Uh, I'm looking at this groove. I don't believe that groove does line up with number three. It's kind of halfway between two and three. So let's grab while we have this core in my hand. Slide this key in. You know, again, I don't know what to tell you guys. It doesn't line up with any groove on the bottom of that key. So there might be a pin in the bottom that would pop up. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. All right, we have a tiny little spool. May as well grab that spring while I can. Number two, a standard. Nice strong spring. Number three, baby spool. Another spring. Um, okay, now let's get that light back over here. I don't know if you can make it out, but right there on the left side on the bottom, there's a piece of steel that looks like it is spring-loaded. That's right between two and three, right where it should be. So that's what slides through that groove on the bottom of the core. I don't see anything else in there, and I don't know if he will come out. Let's leave it. Let's leave it for now. Let's keep going. Four is a super. I don't know if you heard that, but he shot out of there. Aye, it is a T-pin. And a very powerful spring of some kind. Probably from a Bic lighter. Seeing as how the Admiral gave me a whole collection of them. Yeah, Bic lighter. Very strong spring. All right, um, I would say let's go from the back. Let me see if I can just push that plunger back down and get our follower past it. Nope. He doesn't want to come go down. All right, we got to keep going in this direction, guys. Okay, we are on five. There's the spring. It is a, I don't know what that is, just a standard pin. I think that's just dirt. No? Yeah, that's just dirt on the bottom of it. So standard pin in number five. And the last one, standard pin in number six. And a very tiny little spring. That's probably why I didn't feel him. All right, let's look at this guy. All right, he has machined this out a little bit. It's the same mechanism that's on any other quick set to hold it in the door, but this one actually uses the spring to spring load this thing that he has cut and ground down to fit down inside of the cylinder to engage. Looks like right here on this side. Um, Again, I think that's probably some kind of... No, nah, I wouldn't say that. Even if it was a trap, I can't see that that would work. Because if it turns this way and the thing popped down, if you continued to rotate... Uh, if you continue to rotate without the key, it would fit inside of there, and that would definitely stop you from rotating any further. And it would also prevent you from taking the core out. If, however, your key was in there... It couldn't pop down the side of that slot. All right, ingenious. Another trap lock. Anyway, there you go. Let's take a close look at these pins. There's what we're looking at. Um, with erroneous designs, T-pins seem to be very, very popular because we got four of them in this lock. Standard pin there, and then this thing. I really do believe that's a piece of... Let me taste it. Ah, that's a flint for a lighter, I believe. Um, we had a bunch of spools on the top. Well, actually, two of them. We had another T-pin right here. The rest are standards. All the springs pretty much are the same except for this guy. Real strong to launch that T-pin right out almost into my face. And then, of course, this little guy 
fitting in from the top through a slot. Great, great idea. I don't know how I was able to pick it, but again, erroneous designs. I think I had a lucky day. Didn't quite work out the way you planned or the way I planned. Anyway, fellas, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.